Hi guys and welcome to Complete Street Unplugged. Today is a special day because I got full self-drive on the Model X Plaid. This isn't so important because of full self-drive, but what it lets me do. And that's the fun part. Because before, I was on a safety score. I no longer have a safety score to get full self-drive because I have full self-drive. I have full self-drive. Okay, enough of that shit. Anyway, so what we're doing today is we're finally unleashing this thing. Before, if I hit the brakes too hard, it would hit, it would kill my safety score and I couldn't do the fun things that I want to do. So now we're going to put it through its paces. We're going to take some twisties, see how it does in the twisties. We're going to go to Cecil County, Maryland and race this thing, see what it does in the quarter mile and uh, see what other shenanigans we get into and see if we can break into the nines with a family SUV. Okay guys, let's get our helmet because I need a brand new helmet to do this because my old one expired. I actually bought this a while ago and haven't used it all at all. This whole season, I haven't been to the track except for one time uh, where I rented a helmet because I forgot I needed a new one. But check this out. I am so excited because I finally got some cool stuff going on. Look at that bad boy. We got America here. Let's see if this thing even fits. That would suck. That would be a downer if it didn't fit. Oh my gosh! I'm stuck! How does this work? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna have to figure out how this helmet works, but it looks like uh, it does work. There it goes. I don't know, am I just retarded? I might just be retarded, I don't know. You never know, guys. But we got our new helmet here that I did pay full price for because I got it from like Summit Racing. Okay, so we're gonna be donning this thing because we are required to wear a helmet when we go race the Plaid X. And then we also need a fire jacket because we're gonna run pretty darn fast and they get very angry without that. So with that, we can now head down to the track and uh, embarrass a lot of people in a family SUV. So what you guys need to know about the Model X Plaid is it is an SUV with six seats and 1,000 horsepower. Yes, that's right, One th over 1,000 horsepower, 1,020, and they dyno even higher than that. This thing has lots of room, it's got a frunk, it's got a trunk, and it's got all the power to bunk, bunk, I don't know. Of course it has this shenanigan, the yoke, it is the bane of many people's existence, not because the yoke is hard to drive with, but because the turn signals are right here and the horn is not there. It should be right there, but instead it's this little thing right there. It's stupid and you tend to miss it when you need it. Otherwise, it is very, very comfortable to drive. Now let's see how it drives with full self-drive. Uh-oh. Today we are going to Cecil County Dragway, which is 56 miles away. We'll get there at 70%, but we don't want to get there at 70%. We want to get there a little bit topped off, so we're going to add a waypoint on here where we go to the supercharger first, get all topped up, and uh, get going back to Cecil. And I'm going to let the car drive. Not in the parking lot because that's a disaster. When this drives in the parking lot, you're you're just in trouble. Like watch this shit. Like it just doesn't care. On, on, huh? Eh? Meh. Okay, go. Eh? Eh? Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Oh boy, gang. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It doesn't know what to do. Holy shit. Okay, this is worse than my wife. Wait, it's kind of figuring it out. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, it's kind of figuring it out. This is this is getting wild, guys. It's creeping forward. It says we're going to go that way. Lord help us. Um, checking for visibility. Traffic is horrible here. Wait, are we doing it? Are we doing it? We could do it. We could make it. Is it gonna make it? It made it out. That's actually really tough to get out of. That was scary. I don't know that we should do that again, but I'm kind of impressed that we made it that far. I don't know if we'll make it any further than this, but we're gonna, if, if full self-drive can't take us further, Andrew's self-drive is gonna do that. 
now is a good of a time as any to go into drag strip mode. Hopefully this car doesn't pull out in front of me. You guys ready? I mean, on the street, it's pretty freaking fast. I can't wait to see what it does at the drag strip. So someone said to me just recently that these are soulless creatures. Well, I feel like it's only soulless if you put the steering on comfort. That's right, you can change the steering on this thing. So if you go here, there's a steering mode, comfort, standard, and sport. You put it on sport, you got soul. So remember that, sports and soul go together. Okay, here is a very, holy fudge, challenging intersection. And it kind of did it seamlessly. That's pretty cool. And it's picking up the pace. Uh, for those of you wondering, we are on software version 12.2. Well, 10.12.2. And it actually drives really nice. I feel like anytime that you update these, it tends to go into like a trim mode at first where it just sucks. And then it like trims itself a little bit and does a good job. Uh, the last one had some major bugs in it though, where I was, I was, uh, not impressed and was, I actually stopped driving the car. Uh, that's on my other Plaid, the Plaid S, where like it, I got full self drive a long time ago. I was on 10.3 and now we're on 12.2. So like we, we went through uh, a couple iterations there. And at some point I just stopped driving it because I was like, this sucks. And now I can drive either one. Thank God. Like, because I got a fourth kid coming along the way, and those seats back there, well, they're going to be put to use. But very nice driving. Like, there's cars stopping up ahead. I don't know if you guys can see it. I hope the car can see it. it looks like we're, I feel like we're slowing down. We slowed down a little bit. And look at that. Seamless. We got a turn coming up. A little bit of a twisty. I have to hit the steering wheel a sec because it's gonna it's gonna make it. We took it at a good pace, but it's making the turn. Ooh, there's a bridge. This bridge is wild. Let's see how it does against this bridge. Uh, hopefully not against against. I am ready to take over. Holy fudge! I didn't have to disengage it, but I did anyway. But that was, whoo, that bridge is close, even if you're driving manually. Wow, okay. That worried me a little bit, but not going to lie, but I think it would have done it just fine. It took it at a higher rate of speed than I would have taken it as a, as a driver. That's all. Okay, I feel like this one's going to be challenging for full self-drive. We're going to be turning left, cross traffic, and... Okay, it wasn't really challenging. But then there's a quick turn. Are we going to make the turn? On, and the lines disappear. Oh shit, okay. Okay, I got it. I got it, boys! Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. Holy shit. Let's go find some twisties and uh, see how she does. Suspension, low, sport, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. And now, I'm on it. And it is getting bumpy. Whoa. Okay. Wow. It's still an SUV. It is not like uh, driving the Plaid S. The Plaid S is a bit more connected to the road, for sure. This one still, this one has a boat feeling, but it seems to still be gripping, has good rebound, uh, good feedback. Um, but yeah, it's just not, it's not the same. It's bumpy now. Holy shit. I haven't really pressed this thing. This is like the first for me to like start hitting it. Okay. We're going to go into advanced mode all the way firm, all the way low. Okay. Let's see how it kind of goes around the turn. I know this turn. Nice. Very nice. Feels connected, not again, again, not as good as the Model S. The Model S is quite a bit lower, so that's no surprise. This is, you know, a Model S with a giant bubble on top and 700 extra pounds, but 
Yeah, not bad. It's uh, it's pulling through the turns very nicely. I still feel connected. I don't feel any loss of grip or anything like that. Okay. I pressed it there. Did you hear the tires? Yeah, me too. I started questioning my life choices at that point. But here we are. So for everything that the Tesla does wrong, it probably does 50,000 things right. And this is probably going to be one of them. Look at that. Seamless. So before we get to the track, we had to stop and charge all the way up because we want as much juice in it as possible. Uh, that way we get as much voltage to the motors, all three of the motors, and get this bad boy down the track as fast as possible. Again, hoping for a 9.7, we'll see what she does. We're at 96%. We're gonna get this party started. All right, gang, we're teched in, we're number 211. That's right. The plaid is, plaid is ready to rock. I'm excited. I gotta get my, uh, I gotta get my suction mount so you guys can join me for the ride. Getting ready to run. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be plaid versus plaid. <laughs> we, we have to do this. <laughs> We're sitting here. Ready to rock? Wow! Oh, he beat me! He beat me right at the end! Wow, what a good race, though! Thank you. You're welcome. I did a 973 at 145. Basically what we were expecting. I want to know why he ran. He's like doing no time. I am pretty stoked because the first run was a 97. 973 at 145.78 miles per hour. That's uh that's pretty darn awesome. I wasn't fully in a drag strip mode or fully warmed up. I don't know that it's gonna make any difference, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're almost there at peak performance. And uh, this time I'm going to take the suspension and lower it all the way down, just maybe for some extra mile per hour or something like that. Don't know, don't care. Just gonna try to do my best. And uh, uh, really, it doesn't really take much talent to race a Tesla, so. Okay, I thought it was gonna be just me, but it looks like it's me and this other dude. I'm ready to launch, I'm in launch control. See ya. Wow, she's doing great. He's like way back there. Woo! Dang, dang, that felt awesome. Pretty wild for an SUV. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yep, we did uh, 9.7 again at 145.97. I'm pretty sure we're going to do the same thing forever. Uh, it's 60 foot to 163 60 foot, which isn't as good as the Model S Plaid, but it's not bad. I mean, that's what it does in the street, too. So that's pretty darn slick. So two 9.7s in a row. This is going to be a tough car to beat. I'm going to see. Well, I am in comfort, but road is bumpy so we're gonna raise it back up maybe we'll try again and then maybe we'll drop down the suspension in the middle of the run and see how that goes that'd be cool maybe okay we're gonna have a little fun race against this thing let's 
get him. So that last run, guys, we ran a 977. So we're still in the nines. Haven't got out of the nines yet. We're down into the, the mid to low 80s in the uh, state of charge. But this is pretty awesome. The SUV is to be reckoned with. I think it did, I think it even tracked faster. I think it was like 148. Did I do 148? What was that last one? 100, almost 148. I did 147.97. We're going to round up and call that 148, which is actually the fastest mile per hour that I had in this beast. And that's pretty wicked for a damn SUV. It's not as fast as this thing over here, but that's okay. You want to say anything in the YouTube land? No? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Last time I ran this thing, I ran it with like the suspension in low, not very low. Seemed to do a little bit better. So this time I'm gonna start it in high. And it's like, I don't know if you can see it, but like it is, it is raised up a couple of inches here, like where it normally isn't raised up that much. And so what'll happen is about 15 miles per hour, it'll drop down, 35 will drop down again, 55 will drop down again, and uh, then it'll just stay that way in uh, low. Uh, so it goes very high, high, normal, or medium, low, very low. And we're gonna drop down all the way through these things and see what happens. I'm kinda excited. Activate a drag strip mode. Uh, suspension is still very high, so that's cool. I thought that maybe it would lower down. I'm kinda excited to see what happens when, uh, when I enable this, when I go into actual launch mode. Okay. driving all over the place. Thank you. I see you got it on. I do. I, I don't know what the hell's wrong with them. Like I had to I had I had a video of me and I had to just double check. I'm like, I didn't take it off, did I? That one dude doesn't like me. Which one? The dickhead up there. You know who I'm talking Which about. One? Like, I, you gotta specify, there's a, there's a couple. I know, I know, have a good one. Thank you. So I did a 9.9 in high, so I think that we're gonna call that one a bust and go back to running in uh, low. I think that's gonna be it. We ran a 9.9 that last time, uh, which was like, uh, I don't know, it was kind of sketchy starting in like high mode because uh, it was all over the place. I gotta admit, it's definitely better in the low end 9.9, nine, still not bad. Like, like that's probably worst case scenario. And that was at like 70 some percent charge, uh, but it was in high, so it didn't launch very well. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm very happy with this purchase. It's still fast, not as fast as a Plaid S, but we'll get back to the track with the Plaid S soon enough. Adios.